Hello everyone and welcome to today's lecture. Today we will look at various applications of planarity and Euler's formula. So remember last time we saw this formula by Euler that if a graph is connected and a plane graph, so you can draw it on the plane without crossings, then the number of vertices, edges and faces satisfy this equation. Now we will apply this to a more down-to-earth geometric problem to begin with, which is that of polyhedra. So a polyhedron is a solid uh, that has faces being polygons. So the most obvious example perhaps is the cube, but you have the icosahedron, the dodecahedron, the tetrahedron, and all of the other platonic and other solids, uh, or for that matter, a football like not the one you use in American uh, football, I have no idea how these look, but the soccer uh, type football where you have different patches that are pentagons and hexagons. Anyway, we can say something about polyhedra. So uh, thanks to Euler's formula, we can count the number uh, of uh, sides, edges and corners of a convex polyhedron. The word convex here is a technical detail, but quite an important one. It just means that there is no, there are no bulges on the solid. More precisely, if you draw a line between any two points on your polyhedron, this line segment will entirely stay inside the polyhedron. So uh, what does this have to do with Euler's formula? Well, you can represent such a polyhedron as a graph. We've done this with the cube and it looks like this. So you put vertices where you have the corners, the edges are edges. And now you have such a graph, you can put it inside a sphere and project it onto the sphere. So you can circumscribe it in a sphere and then you get a graph that you can draw on a sphere and you will not have any edge crossings because you don't have any crossings between the edges of a polyhedron when you see it as a solid. So you get a graph that you can draw without crossings on a sphere. But we said last time that by punching a hole in one of the faces of the graph and pulling it open, or if you are less violent by using stereographic projection, you get a plane graph. So a polyhedron gives you a plane graph. And therefore, we can use Euler's formula for polyhedron. To make things precise, we define something that is called a polyhedral graph. So a polyhedral graph is a graph that is three vertex connected and where each face is bounded by a polygon. Uh, this three vertex connected is uh, seemingly coming out of nowhere. One can show that this is equivalent that, it, that the graph comes exactly from the kind of polyhedron we were looking at. But we'll not go into the details of this. The point is that if you have a polyhedral graph with n vertices, m edges and f faces, since it is in particular connected and plane, it will satisfy Euler's formula. If you want to write this specifically in terms of the polyhedron itself, then this says that if you have a convex polyhedron with n vertices, m edges, and f sides, then n minus m plus f is equal to 2, which is probably the more classically uh, known theorem as Euler's formula. 